I know the violence of water. Twice I've stood ankle deep in Nairobi homes as it cascades down inside the walls, surges under doors, spurts and sprays from ceiling light fixtures, wondering, stand and drown or move and be electrocuted. I know the force of landslides, betrayal that shatters the faith all other faiths build upon, the soil you stand on, eat from, turns on you, the very words you use for solid, earth, ground, liquefy to swallow you. I know the trauma of unhoming. Grab what you can, eyes ahead. Don't look back, don't think, don't feel. One foot in front of the other as you chant inside your head. I'm alive. We're alive. We are going to survive. I know the shock of abandonment. When where you live is no longer profitable for multinationals after they've chopped down the trees, built over riparian land, stratosphered the rents, the corporations pack up, foreign embassies pull out, leave you in the devastation. I know the outrage of erasure. Floods in Italy, front page news. Floods in Somalia, development section. Sponsored by the same billionaire who brought us vaccine apartheid and GMOs. I know the iterations of empire. The deadly calculus of face starvation here or risk drowning in the Mediterranean only to face another drowning there? I know the lanes of genre, the words climate imperialism, global financial infrastructure, IMF debt relief, emissions, carbon footprint have no place in poetry. Save it for an op-ed. Catalogued rage is clumsy and didactic. I know the grief of the disposable. As the 1% colonise other planets, we howl the destruction of ours. As colonisers militarise borders, criminalise the colonised, strip us, then doom us to die, we know the salvation of human hands, wielding shovels and oars, ropes and pumps, the grace of outstretched arms. We know the power of hearts to reach from Beledwen to Faenza, from Norlands to Mogadishu. We are not all in the same boat, not even in the same ocean, but we can choose, we can choose to stay porous.